Welcome to this week's episode of the DevOps Lab. We're going to be featuring a brand new product launch to Azure, Azure Load Testing. So tune in and hear all about it. Welcome to this week's episode of the DevOps Lab. We have an awesome episode for you with a brand new feature in Azure. So first, let's welcome John Stallo. Welcome, John. Hi, April. Thank you for having me on. Great to have you here. I'm really excited to talk about Azure load testing. So can you take it away and introduce everyone to this brand new feature in Azure that has just been released? Yeah, um, so we're pretty excited. Um, Azure load testing is a new service that we just launched public preview just a few months ago. Awesome. Um, and it's really designed to help developers and testers gain confidence in their uh, application's performance, in their ability to meet demand. So needing that confidence um, comes in a few forms. So you know, the first example would be you know, leading up to a really important event. Um, it could be like a sales event, tax season, anywhere where like, your application really needs to be ready right from the get-go to meet high customer demand. Or it could actually be much earlier in the application lifecycle. It could be when you're proving out your architecture. You might be taking on a new dependency. You might be using a Azure service that you've never used before, and you're really trying to learn how to use it more effectively. Absolutely, and I think we see so many use cases in the cloud where we, either as a developer, we deploy a new feature to something in Azure, and we're using a new service. It might be platform as a service or a virtual machine. And we need to know how that application is going to perform and how it's going to scale. And you're exactly right. Especially when people go into the cloud, they're like, how do I resize this VM? How do I put this into PaaS? How do I transform my application? So I'm really excited to see how Azure load testing works because I think there's so many use cases for it in Azure. Yeah, um, absolutely. Like in, in all those cases, you really just want an easy way to be able to simulate real world traffic. And then really importantly, you want to be able to learn how your application is behaving under stress. Can I show you how easy it is to get started with Azure load testing? I would absolutely love to see it. Really excited to see it. So John, take it away, please. Awesome. So um, I'm right here in the Azure portal and uh, it's Azure load testing is a, is, a, is a service where you can just go out and create a, a resource here. And then you can just simply search for Azure load testing right here. and you'll be able to get started right away. And now what that does is it creates a load testing resource. And this is really just a, think of it as a hub where you can add all of your tests, you can manage access uh, to those tests, you can view historical uh, results and everything. Um, so we wanna be able to get a load test up and running uh, quickly. So let's just go create a new test. I'll give it a name. And then as part of the test plan, I upload a JMeter script that I would um, have um, already developed on my machine. Now, JMeter is a very popular open source uh, load testing framework. It has a really large community. It's very easy to be able to go and get um, uh, help to uh, you know, get started with uh, creating a load test. Um, a lot of extensibility built in for you to be able to get extensions that the community has already built. Um, and so now that I've uploaded my JMeter script, really that's all that I need. But I just want to okay. show you one more thing. Um, load Azure load testing makes it really easy to be able to scale out and achieve really high uh, traffic. And so um, that is as easy as you just being able to uh, scale out um, your engine instances all the way from you know, one to many and we will take care of all the heavy lifting of the infrastructure required uh, to be able to uh, run high traffic load. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go and create that load test. And what that does is that is now getting things ready in the uh, service. You can see over here, it's actually provisioning those load test engines that I requested, and we will see the load test begin very shortly. 
And then what we can see is the load test has actually started executing. Um, and so down below here, I can see a few things already. So um, you know, there's a few metrics that I get in real time as the load test is actually running. So here on the left-hand side, you can see that um, my load test is slowly ramping up uh, mm -hmm. to be able to simulate more virtual users that would be running my application at the same time. And as that is ramping up, I can see you know, what my response time looks like across mm -hmm. different types of requests uh, that uh, are being simulated. And you can see that I had a bit of a cold start there, uh, but then it's kind of settled down into like a uh, pretty comfortable territory in terms of uh, you know, response time. Okay. Um, and I also you know, see requests, I get to see you know, any errors that actually um, might, uh, you know, that my application might be experiencing. And actually, you can see that it just popped up right, right there. So it seems like that at some point, as the number of virtual users has been uh, increasing and, and running my application, um, two things I just noticed right away. The response time jumped up to now like between four to five seconds, which is mm -hmm. a pretty long time. Um, and now I'm also starting to see errors as well. So even now, um, I'm already learning that my application may not be handling load at a certain uh, load point. Absolutely. And this is great to see because I think so many times we deploy something and we struggle to see how something's correlated in our applications, right? Or we have to use real-time data. And, and a lot of times we try to emulate traffic, but this is awesome to see to get that correlation right there. And I assume we could upload another JMeter configuration file that will allow us to get a different usage pattern potentially on our application as well. Yeah, that, that's absolutely right. So there's a lot of things you could do with JMeter. And so this whole thing of like, um, you know, ramping up um, and then sustaining some peak was really just in my JMeter script. And mm -hmm. I can do all sorts of patterns like, um, you know, maintain a certain uh, load and all of a sudden spike up um, and really understand how does my application behave um, under those you know, fluctuations of, of traffic. Now, at, at any time during the load test, um, I can stop this right away, um, mm -hmm. just in case things are going horribly wrong. Um, you know, you, you've got total control um, over what happens. Um, at, at this point, my load test has actually ended here. Um, and uh, one of the, the next things I'd like to show is how Azure load testing helps you understand how your application actually behaves. We already know that at some point of, of, uh, of, of, of load that my response time, I'm seeing some errors creep in. But mm -hmm. what I know about my application is that there is a web app or an API that is taking in these requests and then it's actually making some calls to a backend service. And there's all sorts of questions that I would have at this time of, you know, which of these application components is actually, um, you know, under stress and, and causing this kind of uh, behavior. So one of the things that is down below here is what we call server side metrics. Um, and so if I click on this configure app components, what I see here is just the ability to be able to go and uh, search across uh, subscriptions, uh, resource groups, at this time, I know that uh, this application that I'm testing is actually deployed to this resource group. And here you can see that there's you know, an app service resource, mm -hmm. um, which is my web API. There's a Mongo database that's in Azure Cosmos DB. I also have app application insights, which is my, uh, the telemetry that, um, that I'm using for my application. And then I can choose now to add all of those server metrics to this dashboard. And so now when I scroll down, not only do I see all the JMeter metrics that I saw mm -hmm. before, but now I can see how my application components, the web API, the database, all behave uh, under load. Awesome. So you can get a lot more granular and pick apart that application stack and figure out where that failure is occurring, where that bottleneck's occurring. That's right. Um, and so, let me just take you to uh, a example here of a load test that I ran before. And if I open that up, 
we'll see that uh, you know I ran a similar test like before. And you know, this one actually gave me you know, a few clues. So in terms of my uh, web API, I can see that uh, the CPU and memory were doing okay. I started to see some, uh, some uh, CPU spikes starting to appear later on, mm -hmm. uh, but that might not fully account for the, uh, the issues that I was seeing. But if I look down at my Cosmos DB, I can actually see that I, my, my RU uh, utilization, meaning um, how much stress my uh, database was under, actually started to really peak and, and then you know, at 100%. So that has already given me clues of places to look at um, to really help my applications uh, scale. That's really, really cool. I think that gets some really good insight in the throughput of the application. It's super clear. We can pull this up for reporting. We can leverage this further when we're building our apps, when we're building new stuff. But we can all, I assume we can pull out some reports as well and hand that over to anyone in the organization that needs proof that our application's not doing what it's supposed Absolutely. to do. Absolutely. Yeah. You can, you can share these reports. You can compare uh, a low test that you ran you know, last night to you know, what, it, what it looked like a week ago or two weeks ago before you began a sprint. Um, so all of those ways of comparing um, uh, important metrics um, really tell you a lot about what's changing in uh, your application and your ability to be able to meet that, uh, that, uh, that, that demand. And testing is so critical when we're developing our applications and it's something that we a lot of times forget or bypass because it's sometimes hard to do or hard to implement. This looks really easy. Now, I want to take this a step further. Can we integrate this into a CICD pipeline? Definitely. Um, and that's actually something that we see uh, that a lot of teams are increasingly doing. Um, you know, one of the, those important uh, confidence levels that I was talking about before is really being able to um, find and block performance regressions as soon as possible. Um, and so we see teams actually integrate load testing as part of their CICD pipeline. And so with Azure load testing, you can uh, add um, uh, load tests or you can trigger load tests from uh, GitHub Actions, from Azure pipelines, so that you can you know, run it, say, at the end of a sprint or before uh, or as code is deployed to, say, a staging environment. So you'll be able to you know, really compare uh, you know, the, the application's performance uh, right as soon as, uh, as soon as you deploy and to be able to learn whether you've you know, regressed and need to maybe, maybe block that deployment. Awesome. John, I love this. Really excited to see this come out as a product. It's something that our customers have asked for. We talk about testing as being such a critical part, not only the DevOps process, but part of the cloud process, right? So thank you so much for showing this to us today. Really appreciate you being here, John. So thank you. Thank you, April. Take care. Awesome.